Here's a super quick video of the urban garden. This is a soil pile from last year that I've got a fig tree growing in and a few blueberry bushes. Over here I have my first bed, uh, which has salad and radishes and red peppers coming and then broccoli down there and then beets and then baby bok choy and then spring onions and then snow peas. This is what I call the medicinal bed. It's a little early in the season so some things aren't even planted and other things are just starting to grow but here's the St. John's wort and then we come along and here's the parsley and cilantro area and then there's a big gap where all the basil is going to be and then let's come over here we've got some fennel we've got some rosemary we've got uh, lavender and over here we've got the baby bok choy the spring onions and the snow peas I just built this arbor the other day this is for the kiwi and along the front you see a whole bunch of um, ever bearing strawberries this is the first bed, which is about 12 by 10 or 14 by 9. Anyways, it's basically for nightshades, nightshades, <laughs> nightshades. So eggplant and tomato and uh, peppers and tomatillos. Um, back over here, we've got more blackberry bushes, which have really started to take off this year. This in the fourth year, now third year. Blackberries and raspberries and blackberries. And then this bed has got some broccoli, carrots across the front, red onions. This bed has yet nothing in it. This bed soon to be the bean bed. And then this triangular large bed in the corner has about 20 goliath sunflowers planted. And that will be where I plant the kettle. Let's go across here. So this is the driveway. Here's a little deck. Over there, um, where those yellow plastic sheaths are off the telephone pole, I'm putting in another bed along the creek side. And so that's a quick tour of the garden. Um, it's only, I don't know, April 16th or something, so it's a little bit early. That's why nothing is planted. But I wanted to get my arbor in, which as you can see, the kiwi are already starting to grow all over the place. Um, so the arbor is actually quite tall. It's eight feet tall. Okay, I guess that's it. And, you know, Everything happens right here behind this fence. Compost pile, next to a dirt pile. Maple leaf tree that's four years old. I'm keeping that for now, right there, blowing in the wind. That's it.